Hey guys, it's me. Happy Friday. I have some really good things to show you today. I'm very excited and I'm going to show you the best thing first. Do you like my eye makeup? <laughs> because I just used the best palette. It is the Tartlet um, Juicy Amazonian Clay Eyeshadow Palette. I love these. Now, I don't love every Tarte palette that comes out, but there's something about these Tarte, Tartlet, Tartlet in Bloom, all these palettes like this. So I saw it, I think I just saw like an advertisement or something for it, and I didn't find it on Ulta yet. It probably is now. So I ordered it from the Tarte website. So let's see if I can show you without blinding you. Yeah, here we go. I used the bottom row today except for that very, very darkest color. Now you can see my little precious Brooke has been in this already because she, I got it yesterday and she's already used it and she loved it too. She used this with some setting spray as an eyeliner and it was so good and dark. I mean, it was so pretty, but I think it is set up where you can, let's do it this way yeah I think it's set up where you can kind of just like go across the rows but you don't have to and to be honest with you I'm looking forward to using this color right here to me that is just so pretty but I kind of started with this in my crease today and I thought you know I'm gonna go ahead and just use this row and just see how it goes this is what I have on my lid gorgeous gorgeous I mean so pretty and then I put a little bit okay it has a smell to it to be sure this thing doesn't smell like chocolate it doesn't I don't know what it smells like let me know down below if you have this and what this thing smells like it doesn't smell bad it smells good it smells kind of sweet and then I um after I did my wing and everything, you know how I like to take my darkest color and kind of come off of the end of the wing. So that's what I did and I never did really get to that one. But look how pretty this is going to be and this and this. So look forward to me. I might just work straight down for the next videos. And if you get it, let me know and we will do, we'll do some playing with it. We'll do a get ready with me. But I love it, I love it, I love now, it. When I was on the website, I was looking at everything that was new, and they also had this, which is the Big Ego Brow and Root Camo Kit. So it's one of these that you can use for your brows or for your roots, which I just had my hair done. This is a blowout that she did. It's a couple days old now. I just kind of used my dry shampoo and revved it up a little bit. But... Um, so I don't have grays right now, but I mean, those suckers just pop right in so fast. What, did, what the heck? They just start coming. So, and then another thing I like to do now, I have not tried this, but I'm not worried about it. We'll just go ahead and mess up if I need to. But so it has like this little baby brow brush, and then it has this brush that is really nice. It's really soft and fluffy. Some of them are too stiff in these hair powders. So let's see. I think the color I got is blonde. Let me show you the magic of this. Okay, what what do I want to use here? I'm going to use this angled one. I'm going to experience this with you guys. So if I want, see like right there, if I want that to look thicker, or you can see it, if I want that to look thicker right there, what I'm going to do is just take this powder and go across and go up in that hairline. I like that this is not too dark. I was scared that it was going to be too dark. But can you tell a difference? And let me see a true, see I don't have a real pretty, I don't have that hairline that just goes straight across. I've always had like this little indention right here. It's just the way it is. And I kind of, to me, it's kind of youthful because it reminds me of when I was a little girl and my mom would always pull my hair. She usually parted it on the side and pulled it back and I had it in those, um, you know, the hair bands with the two balls on there. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. So let's go in here and color this in. 
like that. So you can see how much that helps right there. It kind of gives you a better hairline. Let's do it over here too. I didn't put a lot of dry shampoo here, so I'm sorry if my hair looks dirty. I naturally have kind of oily hair, but see how pretty that is? And if you were to wear it up, it just makes the biggest difference. And then if I part my hair straight down the middle, it's thinner here. And so a lot of times I can color that in a little bit to make it look better. Most of the time I forget and then I think about it on a video, but these are just good to have. The other one I like, I've got the Mason Reed and then I also have the Wow. And it just depends. It depends on what color my roots are. One of them is a little kind of a khaki blonde color and almost pulls a little green. So, and then the Mason Reed is a little darker. So this is actually perfect. I don't do my brows anymore. I just do clear on them because I like them lighter. When I look back at the pictures, you guys, of my brows microbladed, I hate it. I hate it. So be really careful. I mean, if you're someone like me that can't be told, you have to experience it, then experience it. But this would be my advice. Go way lighter than you think because you think oh it's going to be so great to wake up with my brows on well if you're like fair like i am you have lighter eyes and you have lighter hair and everything it looks really weird when you wake up and you have brows on you know what i mean so that that's my 25 cent advice today okay do you guys remember this top from walmart it is so I was like thinking I needed to save it like for something special, like a special video or a special occasion because it kind of looks, you know, fancy. But you know what? Every day is special. I'm telling you, just go for it. Okay, so I'm going to show you. It's going to be, I've got it kind of like a pile here so it might be all over the place. I ordered this Alo tank top. Now it wasn't cheap but it wasn't as expensive as the Dylan Lex. You know that Dylan Lex tank that I have in the black and the cream? And I love the way the back or the bottom kind of scoops up like this. So when I saw this, I thought I'm gonna order that and see if it is, sorry, I got a piece of hair right there. See if it is kind of a dupe for that tank top. The only thing is, you know, with that tank top, it's so fitted, I cannot, I don't even wear a bra because it's just, it's kind of got a little bit of stretch in it and I got the medium and my boobs are not as big as they used to be, believe me, now that I've lost them all. And so that is one thing. I'm gonna have to wear either a strapless bra or another tank or something under this, but I do like it and I do think it gives you that same effect. And I also, whenever I get in my exercise mode, I've been, you know, working out at home, but I haven't, I haven't wanted to go to the gym because I just don't want to have to work out with my mask on and I haven't really been walking because it's been cold. So, but I will get back into it, but I thought this would be good for that too. So that's one of them. And then when I saw this, I actually got this hoping it might go with a pair of pants that I bought, but they are not. They are not going to go together. They are not the same shade of red, but I love it so much. I'm keeping it anyway. And it's another Alo Yoga top. And I think I got both of these. Oh, I got a medium in this. Why did I do that? I should have gotten a small. Oh, well. I got a small in this one. And look how pretty this red is. And it's got like that twisted bottom. Now, what these are good for is if you are mature, like I am, but you like that kind of cropped top set look you can do something like this and it's not as cropped it's more forgiving and I just I love that twisted bottom it gives you that effect like it is cropped but it's going to go right to your pants line especially if you wear this with like um, high-waisted yoga the Zella pants or something like that or just some high-waisted you know slacks or something slacks that's an old word isn't it trousers if you do that but I just I love the red it is beautiful. It's like fiery red. It's getting ready to be time for bathing suits. And I saw these bottoms and they're good American size two. I always size up in my bathing suit bottoms. Like I used to get, I used to be a medium and get a large. Now I'm probably a small and I'm getting the medium. 
but I grabbed these bottoms from Good American because they are old school and they're the high cut and but they have a pretty good bottom on them they're not crazy and they're just really nice they're like double layer and I can't remember how much they were I ordered them $39 that's worth it that is so worth it my theory and motto is always get yourself some black bottoms get some black bottoms that you love then you can rotate your tops I got some PR this week and a lot of times I don't show you all of my PR because I feel like I should use it and be able to tell you about it before I show it to you so that's what I did the first one is Paula's Choice which I'm always I'm very very thankful to be on their PR list because I don't know if I've ever gotten anything from Paula's Choice that I was disappointed in so she sent this and it is a new exfoliant peel and you know how I love peels and I love exfoliating I just I don't know I was so thrilled to see this so I have only used it one time because let me tell you it works you put it on um, once weekly definitely uh, apply after cleansing so that's what I did it's this really cool purpley iridescent color so you can really see where you've gotten it and then you leave it on for 10 minutes well immediately I did it Monday night yeah Monday night and I put it on and I just didn't think about it I walked out in the kitchen I was going to do something and I felt it like doing if you've had a peel you know what I mean that kind of tingly pin prick feeling and it says leave it on for 10 minutes after rinsing follow with toner treatments and moisturizer it's got 25 percent AHA 2 percent BHA and it's got the butterfly pea flower extract which calms signs of redness soothes irritation and gives a peel a natural lilac color okay so it did definitely work it did not make my face crazy peeling or anything but I do think that once I do it once a week, it will make a difference. Now, my forehead, I feel like I should save this. Let me save that for a skincare video. I want to tell you something that had gone on with my forehead and what I did, but I'm going to keep you on hold on that one. But um, anyway, I think that this would be fun to try, and I think anything you got from their website would be good. And one thing good about Paula's Choice is they have good trial size options, and they give good samples. The next thing I got is from Good Molecules, and this is their, uh, from the Brazilian Rainforest. It's a new eye cream, so I used it today, and that's where I have the majority of my wrinkles, or around my eyes, but I know I've told you a million times, but it's the truth. I don't get Botox around my eyes because if you do, then it stops your cheeks right here, and it creates like a little shelf right here and gives you dark circles. So that's something to be careful for. I would rather just have my smile lines. So I used this this morning. Um, formulated to help revitalize and energize the eye area. Let's see. Um, it's got antioxidants, polyphenols, um, and um, it just helps to slow the appearance of premature aging. That's something I really want you all to really understand and it took me a long time to really get it is not there's not many things that are going to fix our issues exfoliating i think retin-a and i think maybe vitamin c those are things you can do but when it comes to a lot of things you're going to want to just reduce the appearance so when you see that sometimes we think oh you know I'm not going to get it. It just reduces the appearance. But, you know, basically, if it does, I'm happy with it. If I'm really, really impressed with it, I will give you an update. Okay, let me go ahead and show you this, these two things. Okay, I need to take this and get a battery. I ordered this off of eBay. It's a swatch, and I had one just like this in, I don't know, I'm thinking high school. My senior picture I have on a watch that has a black band on it. I can't remember what watch that was. I wish I could. It kind of freaks me out that I can't remember that watch. It seems like it might have been like a Timex. 
but I had this watch and I was looking at swatches on eBay just to see if I saw any of my old ones and when I came across this I had to have it so I ordered it I don't know if I'll ever wear it I probably what I want to do is go get a battery see if it works and um, see if Brooke wants it I think that would be cool but I have been loving leopard from way back I mean all my bathing suits were leopard and everything then this is something I got in my last Nordstrom haul, it is not an expensive watch, but when I saw it, I put it in my cart. I was looking uh, looking through the watches in bed weeks ago. I put it in my cart, and I thought, no, no, you don't need that, and I took it out. And then it was on my mind, on my mind. So I went ahead and got it. I don't know how much I'll wear it, but it was, like I said, not expensive. It is the Timex, the Waterberry. And it is an Indiglo. Did you guys ever have Indiglo watches? And it's rose gold. And I'm not going to be able to show you here because it doesn't show up. I had to get John to help me take a picture. But when you push this, it lights up and there is a kiss. Lips. A kiss right there. It is so cute. So cute. So I got it. I've already worn it a couple of times. I think there's a gold one that you can get in this collection that just has a heart on it too. But it is so pretty. Um, I'll put a picture in here so you can see it better. I love how it has the pink on the end of the second hand. And all along the markers, it has like a pink dot. It's just a really pretty watch. And I thought this would be a great gift for Valentine's Day, for like a daughter, a granddaughter, for yourself. I just thought it was so pretty. And you know how I am about the whole lips thing. So wanted to show you that. Let's go on to the rest of my clothes because I have a pair of pants on that I want to show you. They are from Calvin Klein. I was on the Dillard's website and I don't know how, oh, I was just looking at their trousers to see if they had anything interesting. I really like the ones that kind of have the sailor buttons, so I'm looking for the perfect pair of those. And I came across these. They were less than $100 at $59.50 and they're from the Calvin Klein Modern Essentials. And they're the pull-on, which I don't mind. I know I know Tammy doesn't like any elastic waist pants, and I understand that. But the reason I got these is because they're not as long as most of them are, and they're not as flare. And I thought these would be great to have. They're like a polyester blend, so they'll be great to travel with. Okay, sorry. I always think about my camera cutting off. Sometimes it times out. Anyway, so I thought these would be great to travel with, and they will look good with tennis shoes now do we all want to wear dress pants and tennis shoes maybe not i do still have my stella mccartney with the real high sole i love those i don't know if i'll ever get rid of those so i could wear those or i could just wear any tennis shoes with these because they're not too long and they're not too flare so i thought some of you guys might like them so i'm going to stand up and do an outfit of the day i don't even have any shoes on yet i'll just throw some on just so you can see them okay so here they are i just put on my clear heels so you can see got a piece of paper here hey daddy hey baby you want to come see mama oh you pretty girl thank you thank you <laughs> you're so sweet thank you baby <laughs> she is so animated she is like a cartoon kitty you're so pretty aren't you aren't you so sweet she's gonna go gonna scratch on your pad Okay, anyway, enough kitty stuff. So, here. Like I said, this top is Sofia Vergara. And then these are the pull-on pants. So they're, I would say, mid-rise. They do have this little Calvin Klein thing here, which is no big deal. These would look really good, too, for the office with just a white button-down or something like that. So, and then you can see that they're not crazy long and they're not crazy bailed out. I think they're just considered straight leg. And I just didn't have anything like this, so I thought it would be cool. Okay, let's go with my other purchases of the week. I almost thought about wearing this with these pants because I love a good graphic tee with dress pants. That's just always, always been one of my things. But I saw this shirt. It comes in a couple of different colors and I'm really feeling this lately. I really want to push good vibes and I loved the colors. They were kind of like old school, and I just like this. Okay, here are the red pants that I was th hoping that shirt would match, but as you can see, 
this would be a catastrophe. <laughs> not many times do I care that much, but that would not be good. But these are just like the white ones that I wore probably in my last video that you'll see. And, but they're this beautiful red color. They're the high rise flare and they are high rise. And this time I got the four regular and I'm looking forward to wearing these. I was thinking a cream top, like a cream colored tank, black. I mean, if I could find a color, you know, this red, kind of like a maroon red, that would be great. A white t-shirt, which is like a cap sleeve, v-neck. Oh, that would look really good with this. But I just, a long time ago, I saw a picture of the Burke. Somebody, Brooke Burke. Brooke Burke, there it is. She was wearing red pants. And ever since then, I've kind of had my eye out for red pants. And then look at this. Remember when I was telling you how the mesh is coming in style? Now, I don't know if I'd ever wear this. You could easily wear it like this over a cool black bodysuit or something. But I thought this would look so good too over a bathing suit or whatever. Or this would look so good. I think they actually had it in like the athletic type section. It would look good over a workout you know top i just think it's cool and i don't think it's so off the wall that you know anyone could wear it i just thought it was really cool um for accessories you know with this that was kind of weird so i'm just wearing these little earrings i love them they're kind of i don't know if you'll be able to tell let me take one off but they're the dean davidson from that last collection the manhattan and it's kind of like art deco look at the shape of that little hoop isn't it cool I love it. And then the ring that my parents gave me for Christmas. My nail polish is so happy. It's the China Glaze Rose Among Thorns. And it is um, usually kind of like matte, but I put the sash beat over it. And then so many of you guys were telling me how much you love the Michelle watches. And I was telling my mom about them. And my dad, you know, looked them up and everything. And they stopped in a jewelry store that sells estate pieces. They had gone to a bakery to pick up a piece of cheesecake. And they walked over and stopped in this store and they had one. So I went, they were closed Sunday, but I went Monday. And, not Monday, I think I went Tuesday. And I bought this and I got a great deal. It actually came with two bands, but the girl that had it had worn the other band just out. And so I got them to take the links off of this band. And it is the Michelle um, Chronograph Deco with diamonds around the bezel. And it is so pretty. When my mom sent me the picture of it, it wasn't, I didn't get the the magnitude of it until I went and realized how big it is and how solid and I have to say it's a quartz I don't have to worry about keeping it wound and on the winder and everything I've kind of appreciated that so I love it so thank you guys so much because I never would have looked at this watch I never would have mentioned it and I really really love it it's very very sophisticated but yet fun and I love the weight of it love it and I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend I will probably be back I want to do a skincare update I have lots of fashion ideas like five things you know every woman needs you know just some things like that so I have lots of good ideas and I appreciate you all so much please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time bye bye